I was born with the gift to draw anything I could see, and I would always draw sports, you know, figures. Um, but for some reason, the footwear was always more looked better than the rest of the person. Um, I got my start when I was uh, 19 years old as a professional. He was one of those people who worked in the uh, confines of a company and achieved a social impact in the course of his everyday work. When I started, I was the second person of color to design footwear. Many years later, there's still not that many people of color in this industry. Well, he made the decision to actually leave Jordan and start his dream uh, in the start of the school. His heart and soul go into everything that he does, and I think you can see that when he talks about his work. And I've always wanted to make sure I gave back and looked at creating a path for the next generation of students. I'd like to find ways to bring um, really innovative, um, grassroots, groundbreaking ideas and concepts that change communities through public-private partnerships. So him and myself having a few conversations with uh, Makiba uh, allowed us to really sort of think about it and then me having some conversations with the professors here at MIT, uh, it just came together. And let's just give it a shot and look at what this pilot program can do. I always knew that I wanted to do shoes and design shoes and trying to figure out how to do that. Trying to identify um, those kids that already are consumers of product, footwear and apparel specifically, and get them to understand they can be more than just consumers. Uh, learning from Dwayne is great. It's great. Uh, he's a little bit hard on you at first, but it's for a reason. You know, I talk to students often and I let them know that their, their surroundings and circumstances shouldn't prevent them from trying to see bigger and want bigger. It's been interesting learning from Dwayne. Um, he definitely challenges your thinking. When I walk in and, you know, talk about my experiences working with Derek Jeter and Carmelo Anthony and Michael Jordan, and they're like, whoa. You know, you, you've done that. I didn't know you did that. And I was like, well, yeah, you could do it too. <laughs> For me to learn from Dwayne, it's really been a, an eye-opening ex experience because, like I said, he's a, a leader in the industry. And uh, he was like the youngest and pretty much a pioneer just in that itself. So I know he's taken all the slings and arrows in order for me not to have to do it so hard. And then that way, we just make progress in the industry and for African-American designers. Also expose the, um, the city of Boston to the opportunity of what happens when you, can, when you reinvest into some students that have a passion. My hopes for the future are uh, working with different industry heads and different companies and then eventually going and building my own line and my own brand. From this experience, I'll take away uh, knowing how to be more confident in my work and learning how to make new connections with different people. I think when you're in those environments, those inner city environments, you, you really don't have a, a real understanding of what's possible. Um, and I always wanted to do more than where I was, but I just didn't dream big enough. And uh, dreams are free, man. You can't, you know, can't nobody take them from you, so why not? This experience definitely shaped me uh, to look at life a little differently and just to take advantage of all the little things that might come my way and kind of jump on things. How do I feel about the Kids Project? I'm so proud. Uh, it's like that, uh, what would I say, the, the new father, right? <laughs>
go as big as you could possibly go. And still to this day, I still dream big. You know, I'm still trying to be a lot better than what I am right now.